The death of a University of South Carolina student has the country talking. The discussion, ride sharing and safety. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Joshua. Police believe South Carolina college student Samantha Josephson mistakenly got into the wrong car after a night of drinking. Now that driver is charged with killing her. John Maywell joins us now downtown after talking with UTC students about this tragedy. John. Well, Josh and Kim, as you know, Market Street is a popular downtown hangout, and some people, after having a couple of drinks, choose to ride share. But now with this South Carolina case and another one in Seattle, riders have become on alert. Plus, there is a pending sexual assault case with a former rideshare driver right here in Hamilton County. The death of 21-year-old Samantha Josephson has college students nationwide on guard. It, like, made me, like, just, like, a little bit more sketchy about Uber just because, like, you have to be really wary about, like, your driver and who you get into the car with because you don't know who they are. UTC freshman Angela Hollingsworth doesn't routinely drive a car. Instead, she uses Uber about six times a week. I've had, like, at least three really creepy people. I used to live in Philadelphia. Made public this week a case in Seattle where this man posed as a rideshare driver and allegedly raped a woman last December. Here in Hamilton County, John Kyle Lane stands accused of sexually assaulting one woman and exposing himself to another woman about two weeks later when he worked as an Uber driver. It happened in the summer of 2017. He is no longer employed as an Uber driver. According to the lawsuit, the second reported victim told told East Ridge police about the incident that night and then to Uber. The lawsuit claims Uber, quote, failed to exercise reasonable care in retaining Lane and continuing to allow him to drive its customers. Reviewing the civil suit this afternoon, Uber denies the overwhelming majority of allegations against it. Riders, especially college ones, are taking extra precautions. My mom said, like, have them tell you, like, your name, like, ask them, like, what's my name, like, who are you picking up so that they know and you don't just tell them and you know that they're there to get you. After you have established that the driver has some sort of identifying sticker on the windshield, make sure that the driver knows your name. There's one other thing you can do, quite clever, to protect yourself. Check out the child safety lock to see if it's enabled. On this car, vertical is unlocked, horizontal is locked. You can simply change it so you can get out. I've never actually thought about that, but that's a really good point. You can also use your app to verify the tag. Now, the University of South Carolina is encouraging the What's My Name campaign across the country. Meanwhile, the civil suit against John Kyle Lane is on stay or hold pending the resolution of his criminal charges. Reporting live from downtown, I'm John Madewell for News Channel 9. Now back to you. John, thank you. Lane faces indecent exposure, sexual battery, stalking, and unlawful exposure charges. His next court date is June 4th on all four.